after that has never happened to us. Oh, well, I'm glad to be a first. Oh, you see, <laughs> Luther Vandross. You I made history. Score. You did. Your secret <laughs> love is the new CD. I have yeah. all your CDs. Oh, you, thank you. What was your first big break? Uh, David Bowie. David <gasps> Bowie discovered me. And really? He, yeah. Um, accidentally, he discovered me singing in a studio with him, and um, he introduced me. <laughs> oh, well, no, you no, just no, happened to be walking by. <laughs> yeah, I was. No, I was on the couch. So I was visiting a guitar player who I had gone to school with, Carlos Alomar, and I was on the couch uh, singing, and David overheard me. He says, oh, that sounds great. Put it on the record, you know, and then he introduced me to Bette Midler. You know what? I saw Bette Midler on your show yeah. recently, and she was going through the list of harlots, right. and she went through the list. She went through Katie Seagal. She went through just the whole, everybody was a harlot, and I'm like, okay, come on, come on. You know, Paulette McWilliams, okay, come on, come on, and she never mentioned the fact that I was always the fourth harlot. I, now, wait a minute, I truth. saw her on tour, I've never seen you. You never saw me because I was really shy and I used to stand behind the curtain with a microphone and a monitor and a music stand. No kidding? Yeah, for, for all those years, I was the fourth harlot. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Hey, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a good trivia. Do you still, you still keep in touch with all these people you started on the way up, Ben yeah, and David with ben Bowie? And David. I, I went to dinner at David's, uh, David and Iman's apartment, and David said, he says, come in, and he led me into the, one of the other rooms, and he says, look at what I have to look at every day. And this was on Sunset Boulevard, his, his bedroom faced Sunset Boulevard. And at the time, I had this gigantic billboard for my new album, which was on for about a year. <laughs> and I swear, when he opened his curtains, my face was right there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, this is a fabulous view. <laughs> what, what did you do before you became famous? What, did you have weird jobs like so oh, many I people did, when yeah. they started? I, you know what? I, you know S&H green stamps? You yes, I do. I used to work as a defective merchandise clerk at S&H green stamps, so they would come like with a toaster. You know, they saved 11 months to, you know, for the book, to fill the book to get the and toaster. And it didn't work? And it wouldn't work, and they'd bring it to me, and they'd be mad at me before they got there. No, oh, I did that too. I worked at Sears in the catalog department did you really? in returns. Oh, really? And when people returned, they still had to pay for postage. Oh. Well. Try to explain that, Luther. Yeah, yeah. People were having none of it. Yeah, yeah. And then you die. Exactly. <laughs> there it is. You are uh, wonderful. Thank I, I, you. Your Thank voice, you. it's unparalleled. It's brilliant. And, and I love it. And, you know, I want you to come back. We had the mess up. You come back, you know, Friday, and we have your good friend on, Roberta Flack. You yeah, think you'd yeah, come on with her? I would love to come and back. And sing. Friday. Would you come Friday? Yeah, we'll do oh, something together. Oh, because I feel together. so thin. You'd do something with Roberta. Yeah, I used to I sing love you. Give yeah. me a kiss, Luther. Mm. You're the best. Thank you. You for Vandross, your secret love. I want to yeah. thank everybody today. We had Mark Harmon, Naomi Judd, Chris Everett, and of course, the incredible Luther. Here